I claim this day the victory of Jesus. I claim this day the victory of Jesus. I claim this day the victory of Jesus. I claim this day the victory of Christ. Hello, friends. Are you claiming the victory of Christ today in your life? You should, because the victory is, as we are all still here, healthy, and still receiving God's wisdom each and every day and walking with the Lord, the Holy Spirit, in and through us. Today, as you can see, I have something delicious behind me. Yes, my backdrop is a cake that I made for my niece, Kalia. It says, God bless you and keep you as you serve in the U.S. Air Force. Yes, we got to spend a beautiful weekend with them Saturday and Sunday, Saturday at our house and Sunday at theirs. And she was being shipped out on Monday. I made her her favorite cake, a strawberry cake. I put organic strawberries layered on top of the cake with some whipped cream and then put the whipped cream on top and decorated the rest. God willing, she is going to go in the net well her, she's going to be in boot camp for seven weeks so please if the holy spirit puts you, her on your heart for you to pray for kalia pray for her that god would continue to bless her with his strength his wisdom and all that she has to overcome and and accomplish in boot camp um, so her mom and her used to do mud runs. So she's used to running through the mud and doing all these things. So it'll be fun for her. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So um, God bless her uh, for wanting to serve our country. Praise be to God. And she has a heart's desire to be in the medical field. And so that's up in the air right now, but not because I'm going to claim it, that she is going to get her heart's desire to be in the medical service that she will be claiming that in the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Okay, let's go ahead and begin with Joel Olstein's The Power of I Am. Today's title is Speak Faith. There was the boy lying dead on his couch. Elijah stretched out on him once more. The boy sneezed seven times and opened his eyes. Second Kings Four thirty-two and 35. Continu continuing yesterday's story, Elijah went with the broken heart mother, prayed over her son, and he miraculously came back to life. What I want you to see, however, is that despite all the negative thoughts that this woman was fighting, she still said, all is well. A lot of times when we face difficult and difficulties and somebody asks us, how is everything going? We do just the opposite and tell them everything that's wrong. When you're hurting, you've been through a disappointment and you've suffered a loss. You have to do what she did. She said by faith, all is well. It may not look well. It may not feel well. In the natural, you should be complaining, talking about how bad it is. But instead, you're making a declaration of faith. Amen. Yes, I, can, I can't imagine this to be easy, you know. But we thank you, God, for your word. And thank you, Joel, for this devotional. So we speak faith and say, all is well. And now for the Holy Bible. I am going to be reading Ephesians 6, 10, and 11. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The word of the Lord. Amen. I love this, the scripture. Um, after that, it goes, it goes on to put on the whole armor of God. 
And someone gave me this prayer like 35 years ago. It's in my head, it's embedded because every day I put on the armor and I'd like to share it with you today. It goes, I claim this day, the victory of Christ, putting on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, girding myself with the buckle of truth, shouting my feet with the gospel of peace, taking up the shield against the fiery darts of the enemy, lifting up the sword, which is the word of God. I clothe myself all around with the Holy Spirit and place before me the cross of Jesus Christ. I prayed that prayer thousands and thousands and thousands of times. Every single day as I was growing in my faith, I would be in God's word and every morning and I would put on the armor of God and be ready to charge through the day of whatever the Lord had for me. This prayer is just awesome. I love, love, love the scripture. All right. So as we continue, let's go to David C. Hebrews, clear my vision. To live with him in his house my whole long life. I'll contemplate his beauty. I'll stand at his feet. That's the only quiet, secure place in a noisy world. The perfect getaway far from the buzz of traffic. That's from Psalms 27, 4 and 5. Living in the greater Washington, D.C. area, I know a lot about traffic, noise, congestion, busyness, and burnout. To too many in our modern world, true rest seems like an unattainable goal. We settle for cheap substitutes, living our days powdered by caffeine as we slog through papers, meetings, and stop and go traffic in the hopes of catching the latest tiltillating TV show, snatching a few hours of rest, restless sleep before starting a cycle all over again. The picture of rest and security that this verse presents seems totally foreign to our daily lives. And yet, through a quiet daily decision to focus on God, I have found a rest and peace that all the bustle and buzz in the world cannot take away. When I focus on him, his presence overwhelms my problems. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, David C. Ebner. The prayer here today is, Lord, Thank you for showing me how to stay focused to you so I can feel your love. When I wonder at your beauty and study at your feet, the noise of the world fades away and I am at peace. No matter how tired or stressed, or stressed out I may feel, you are my perfect getaway from worry and fear. A Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David C. Hebner. Thank you, God, for your word. And it is so true. God is our perfect getaway. A couple of days ago, or maybe even a week ago, I had read in Isaiah, I believe it was Isaiah, being under his wings, being under God's wings, you know, just be in his safe place. We have that option. We have that choice. That choice to focus on God and that choice to be near him, to be studying at his feet, to contemplate his beauty, and to just enjoy this life that he created for us, for us to enjoy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, Father Abba, we love you so much, and we thank you so much for letting us be by your side. And just rest in your peace, no matter what is going on in our lives, Lord, we can rest in you. Father, we pray that you would continue to fill us with your Holy Spirit, that your Holy Spirit would continue to guide and direct us in everything that we are to do and say in this life for us to fulfill our purpose on this earth of why you created us, why we're here on this earth. We want to do your will. We want to be close to you. We want to please you, God. We ask of all these things 
in your precious and powerful son's name and his healing name. Amen. Yes, his healing name because of Elijah. He had raised the dead. Jesus raised the dead, Lazarus. Jesus himself was dead and was risen. Hello. He is powerful. Amen. Amen. All right. So until tomorrow, namaste.